Categorizing your products through collections not only makes the user experience way better, but also helps you to actually keep track of all of the different products on your store. So to actually categorize your products, head over to the Shopify dashboard. If you don't already have a Shopify store, I will leave you a link to the best free trial deal down below. Once we are right here, head over to the products tab on the left. Then navigate to the subcategory collections. This would be the place where we can actually add our collections. By default, we are going to have one homepage collection. We can actually delete this right now as we won't need it. So let's start from fresh and let's add a new collection. In this case, I do want to categorize my products into tops and bottoms so that the overall experience for the user is easier. I'm going to add the title right here and this is going to be tops. You can actually also add a description, however this isn't too important as this usually isn't going to show up. You can still add a description if you want to right here and you can format this like any other description on Shopify. As for the collection type, we do have two different options, manual and smart. Now if you do run a Shopify store with hundreds or thousands of different products, then I would recommend you to select smart. Otherwise, make sure to select manual, it's just going to be way easier. One thing which is important to notice is that under image, you can actually set one image for your collection. You don't have to necessarily use an image, but if you're going to leave this blank, Shopify is automatically going to use any of the product images of the products inside the collection. So make sure to just keep that in mind. In my case, this is perfectly fine and I'm going to just add all of my tops right here. All right, great, I've now added them and I'm now going to save my collection. Let's repeat this process by adding a bottoms collection. And we can then also easily display our collections by, for example, adding a featured collection section on our Shopify store. Simply just select your collection right here on the right. And then this would be a way of displaying your collection. You can actually also add a collection list, which is then going to look something like this. I hope this video was valuable to you. Make sure to like and subscribe if it was so. And if you don't already have Shopify, make sure to sign up with my link down below.